Among the strangest planets ever found by science is J1407b. This planet, which is 434 light-years away from Earth, resembles Saturn magnified. Astronomers studying this strange world found it difficult to determine its mass exactly, but it is thought to be between 10 and 40 Jupiter masses, mass, 10 to 40 Jupiters. J1407b is a massive planet that surpasses the largest planet in our solar system in size. Scientists were astounded by the planet's massive ring system. It is made up of 30 rings, each with a diameter of tens of millions of kilometers. Rough calculations indicate that the ring system's total diameter is 120 million kilometers, or 74.5 million miles. If Saturn possessed a ring system this massive, it would dominate our night sky. However, even though this would have been an amazing sight, it wouldn't last long. Eventually, as more satellites formed around the planet, the rings would narrow. However, that is only the beginning. The cosmos has a ton more strange worlds in store for us. How is it possible that one planet has more heat than the sun and another is bigger than its star? What are planets, and how can one exist on a marshmallow planet? For you, we've compiled a selection of the most astounding universes. An exoplanet that is 57 light years from Earth is one of them. Known as GJ504b, it is around the same size as Jupiter but four times more massive mass, for Jupiter's, radius, 1.16x Jupiter. Its peculiar quality is that it is pink, which is rather uncommon for a planet. How then did it acquire its color? The system is thought to be very young compared to our solar system, having formed only 160 million years ago. Additionally, the exoplanet's age causes it to constantly alter and shed the heat from its birth, giving it a muted magenta light. However, there are a number of planets in our cosmos that are rich in water in addition to their vibrant array of colors. With a mass greater than 8 Earths and a radius 0.24 times that of Jupiter, an exoplanet resembling Neptune or the water world is found, mass, 8.17 Earths, radius, 0.245 x Jupiter. And while the abundance of water on this alien world would make it appear enticing, it is not an Earth duplicate. There is no solid surface on the planet, and its atmosphere is very different from our own. It is made of water in an unusual plasma form that behaves differently from water on Earth due to the intense heat and pressure. Water on GJ1214b exists in a constant supercritical fluid form rather than the typical vapor, liquid, and gas phases, despite temperatures there reaching 280 degrees Celsius, 280 degrees Celsius, 540 degrees Fahrenheit. It is therefore partially liquid and partially gas, but ultimately it is neither and both at the same time. Let's now discuss the constellation Cygnus. There, at a distance of roughly 650 light years, is the hot planet Kepler 70b. Among the hottest exoplanets we know of, it has a radius 0.75 times that of Earth and a mass of only 0.44 Earths. While Kepler 70b was originally a gas giant the size of Jupiter, Kepler 70, the star of the planet, was formerly a main sequence star similar to our Sun. Nonetheless, the star passed through its red giant stage about 18.5 million years ago. All that's left of the planet is its scorching iron core due to spending a considerable amount of time inside its now dead star. According to scientists, the planet may someday get even smaller due to its continued evaporation. What is the current temperature? With Kepler 70b being 65 times closer to its star, 0.006 Australian dollars, than Mercury is to the Sun, this exoplanet has astonishingly high temperatures, 6,650 degrees Celsius, 6,650 degrees Celsius, 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface of our Sun is only roughly 5,500 degrees Celsius, 5,500 degrees Celsius, 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, in comparison. Hell must thus exist if it does. WASP-76b is another hot exoplanet located approximately 640 light-years from Earth. However, the planet is also well known for its molten iron rains and everlasting darkness. It was found in 2016 and has a mass that is almost identical to Jupiter's mass, 0.92 Jupiter's radius, 1.83 times Jupiter's. The planet is always facing its star because it is tidally locked to it. On the day side, temperatures can exceed 2,350 degrees Celsius, 2,350 degrees Celsius, or 4,300 degrees Fahrenheit. This is more than sufficient to release metals into the atmosphere, such as iron. Furthermore, the radiation received by the day side is thousands of times greater than that received by our planet from the sun. 
Wasp-76b's dark side is nearly twice as cold. On this exoplanet, strong winds arise from the stark temperature difference. As a result, the wind carries iron vapor from the planet's hotter side to its cooler side, and molten iron showers from this vapor as it cools. That's strange enough, but not nearly as strange as PSR J1719-1438b, the planet. But what makes it so outstanding? This exoplanet is three times as big as its host neutron star. Furthermore, it was formerly a star rather than just a planet. However, let's go back to the beginning. The exoplanet revolves around a 20 kilometers, 12 miles, small neutron star that is extremely dense. On Earth, a single teaspoon of the material in this star would weigh billions of tons. In addition, the star is a millisecond pulsar, spinning every 5.4 milliseconds and releasing radiation beams. That's roughly 10,000 revolutions every minute. The star PSR J1719-1438b has a companion planet that is almost 40% the size of Jupiter, therefore, it is not alone. This extraterrestrial exoplanet is simultaneously more massive than Jupiter, mass, 1.2 Jupiters. So why is it so big but still so little? This is because a far more massive neighboring pulsar formerly stripped the exoplanet's outer layers, turning it into a star. This left behind a star's carbon residue, which grew into a diamond world around five times the size of our planet. At present, its diameter is around 60,000 kilometers, or 37,300 miles. The entire system might fit within the diameter of our sun due to the exoplanet and pulsar's closeness. There appear to be a lot of strange exoplanets in space. Furthermore, you might find it hard to believe these heavenly bodies exist due to some of their strange characteristics. This strange world, known as WASP-107b, has the density of cotton candy, which forces scientists to re-evaluate how gas giants emerge. The exoplanet is only 30 Earth masses, mass, 30.5 Earths, radius, 0.94 x Jupiter, despite being around the same size as Jupiter. However, Jupiter is 300 times more massive than Earth. Furthermore, WASP-107b's core is just four times larger than Earth's, despite the fact that it ought to be 10 times larger. All of these result in an extremely low density for WASP-107b. It's like a marshmallow floating in space, actually. We don't seem to have any hope of colonizing any of these worlds as of now. Gliese 581d, though, could be different. It's difficult enough to find a planet suitable for life. And the fact that the majority of them are so far away makes it even more so. Gliese 581d appears extremely promising because it is only approximately 20 light years away from Earth and has a mass that is roughly six times that of Earth. Since the exoplanet lies in the habitable zone of its star, the surface temperatures may be suitable for liquid water. Nonetheless, one side of Gliese 581d is usually warmer than the other due to tidal locking. However, it's not too horrible. The planet's atmosphere is rich in carbon dioxide, which would prevent the night side from freezing. Even though most lifeforms on Earth have evolved to survive in this environment and the planet has a regular day-night cycle, it's unlikely that Gliese 581d will ever experience the same state of affairs once humans have colonized the planet. However, if we do, it would be ideal to live in the twilight zone, which is the habitable zone along the day and night divide. 18. The size of the space is inconceivably large. And 2 mass J2126 provides active evidence for it. It was originally believed that this weird environment was a lonely planet floating in space. However, this star isn't all that alone. As it happens, 2 mass J2126 is in orbit around the star TYC 9486-927-1. The odd thing is that astronomers have known about both objects for a long time, but no one has ever noticed the connection between them. However, it was later determined by scientists that the star and the exoplanet are connected because they are both located about 104 light-years away from the Sun's subsequent measurements revealed that the planet is orbiting its star at a distance of 621 billion miles, or 1 trillion kilometers per million. This represents a distance between our planet and the Sun of almost 7,000 times. As a result, it has the biggest known orbital radius of any planet. It's interesting to note that this exoplanet's enormous orbit causes its year to be equivalent to roughly 900,000 Earth years. Let's now briefly return to our solar system. This largest planet has 79 moons. Thus, it would seem logical that exoplanets would also have exomoons. However, for years, researchers have been unable to locate any. Thus far, it is quite difficult to find minor cosmic bodies orbiting exoplanets. However, astronomers have at last achieved success. 
Instead of finding an exomun, however, scientists discovered something much more remarkable, the first concrete proof of a moon-forming disk encircling the massive, far-off exoplanet known as PDS-70C. Using the ALMA telescope in Chile, researchers found a disk where spacecraft might one day develop. And there is enough material to create three of them, each around the size of the moon on Earth. For the first time in astronomy history, it is possible for humans to witness firsthand, rather than through a computer simulation, the formation of these tiny round planets in space. KOI-5ab is the final exoplanet on our list. And it's not its character that set this one apart, rather, it's the system of which it is a part. At first, the planet, which is almost half the size of Saturn, was disregarded due to its complexity and even being regarded as science fiction. Ten years later, the KOI-5 system received the proper scientific scrutiny. As it happened, astronomers discovered a triple star system by accident. The planet orbits star A, which has star B as a moderately close partner. Every 30 years, they both orbit around one another. However, star C is a third gravitationally bound star. Furthermore, it revolves around stars A and B every 400 years. 34, we would witness amazing and strange sights if we could somehow go to this exoplanet and use our spacecraft to hover on the edge of this world's atmosphere. There would probably be a lot of gray and dark brown clouds on the bottom vista. And there would be two suns instead of just one, one that is roughly half as bright as our sun and 17 times larger than our star. The weaker star would nevertheless shine a thousand times brighter than the full moon on Earth, notwithstanding this. There may even be odd celestial bodies in our universe, notwithstanding how strange these alien planets seem. Planets are entirely theoretical as of yet. However, some scientists think that they might truly exist. If this is the case, then the collisions of gas and dust particles around black holes would create these enigmatic planets. These planets' orbits would be millions of years long, as they would be evolving at such a large distance from supermassive black holes. The boundless nature of the universe extends beyond geographical limits and encompasses boundless creation. Astronomers occasionally find astounding cosmic objects that expand our narrow perspective of the planet we live on. Even though it took us many years to find every planet in our solar system, their characteristics continue to astound us. Who knows how much more shocking research on the 5,000 exoplanets that are already known will eventually be discovered.